Hey guys, here is another um, video, hello, on a stamp set I have um, got from the Not Too Shabby Shop. Here's Jamie's card. I will leave all links below. And of course, if you make a purchase, use coupon code CRAZYPAPERCHICK for 10% off. Here is the stamp set I've been using. Today will be the last day. I feel like if I go a fourth day, it may be a little overkill <laughs> with one stamp set. So since this will be my last day, I'm going to be making two cards. And I'm going to be doing some mirror stamping. And this was the very first time I did it. I didn't even practice, so it's not perfect. But I stamped my image with Versamark. And now I'm taking a piece of the packaging, the acetate, stamped the acetate with the Versamark, and then smushed that on my paper. And here you will see me do it again with my llama in a second. It's not perfect, but I have a Ranger emboss it pen in black that I kind of go in and fill in the... Um, spots that were missed. Also, when you stamp the Versamark onto acetate, it's easily it can easily move shift. So that's what happened with the armadillo. This technique I totally got from Jennifer McGuire. So there, I stamped my acetate. Now I'm pushing down the image on my piece of paper, and that one was even worse. But I didn't shift the stamp, so I just go in and fill in. The areas and I'm choosing to heat emboss it with the black embossing powder I think that's just easier than me just stamping it I think there's a different technique you can use I don't know I just watched this one uh, I've seen the other one where they use ink so I am using my zig markers and the uh, colors I used are brown and beige for the llama, for the armadillo, I use gray, light gray, green gray, and then beige. Um, I use beige for the llama as well to kind of, right now I'm using it to blend in, blend out some of that color. And I'm not doing anything fancy. Um, I love my zig markers because I can go really quick. Um, and I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock. Um, and I have the dies to these. Thanks to Gerda Steiner Designs, they sent me the dies, and I really appreciate that still. I thought that was such a sweet gesture. Um, so I go ahead and use them for this card and cut out my llamas. Well, I did my llamas and armadillos. Well, I did a mirror image and I was going to fussy cut the other, the mirror image because obviously my die would not work. But I ended up holding the paper to the light. I turned my paper over, held it up to the light, and I was able to line up the die on the back of the cardstock and cut it out. And it just worked perfectly. So I don't have a heart die. So I actually cut this heart out which it's probably the most perfect heart I've ever made <laughs> from scratch. And I'm using some authentic paper. Um, this paper I did purchase in Jamie's shop as well. I will link it below. I It's buried under my craft desk, so I cannot find the name of it. But um, I will link it below if it's available. This is some glitter cardstock I had in my scrap, um, in my stash, I mean. So I go ahead and adhere that down. And then I'll cut them out just so they have a little sparkle border. And here is um, the back side of that paper where I cut the hearts out. And for the first card, I go ahead and use this pattern, pattern paper, adhere that to my card base. And then I take this black strip of cardstock and go ahead and ink up my sentiment. I'm going to use white embossing powder. Um, next Wednesday, I will feature another stamp set from Not Too Shabby. Just FYI, since I was planning to do this stamp set again, but I've since changed my mind. Go ahead and adhere that down, and then I use some foam tape to adhere my heart, pop up my heart. Let me know if you like this series. Um, if you like seeing different cards being made using the same stamp set, 
or you want to see something different each week. Or maybe just two weeks, two different stamp sets in two weeks. I don't know. <laughs> Um, so I go ahead and also put some foam tape on my little llamas and I'm just using a needle to pick up the backing. This is the big mama foam tape that I purchased and I hate it because the backing never wants to come off. So that using that needle helps. Here is a little freebie I got from one of my orders with Jamie. Um, it's just a little, not twine, but a little cord or whatever that's crazy it's really fun um with all the crazy bits coming out but um tying a bow I don't know if that's the best way to use it <laughs> but I got it to work once I figured out where my string was but I really like the way it made the card look it just has that fun element I trimmed off the tails and that is that card really cute for the second card, I'm taking a piece of black cardstock and adhering it to my card base. And I still do not have any tape adhesive. I actually, now that I've been having to use glue because I don't have tape adhesive, I'm really liking glue more than tape adhesive. So <laughs> who knew? Whatever. I like that wiggle room it allows me when I adhere something down. So I go ahead and take another piece of black cardstock and go ahead and um, heat emboss my sentiment. This one says, you are weird and I love it. The other one said, Lama tell you I like you or something like that. I like you so much, I forget. Um, so go ahead and use that same glitter paper as I did on the big heart and put that behind my sentiment so it didn't get lost in the back, uh, the black background of this card. I went ahead and cut a fishtail into it. Do the same thing with this card as the last card. I put um, some foam tape. Once I get it off and I'll adhere it to my card base. I go ahead and place where I want the armadillo so the armadillo's tail is not hanging over. I love those stinking armadillos. They're so cute. <laughs> go ahead and put some foam tape on that. And then adhere those down using my tweezers so I make sure I get them straight. These tweezers are great um, for smaller images. I purchased them at Hobby Lobby, I believe. I think the brand is Elk, Elk Tools. I could be totally wrong, but I'll link it. I'll find it and link it below. I'll try to find it on Amazon. Go ahead and adhere my sentiment. And then I have this little heart punch and I cut out three hearts. So instead of using that um, fancy twine or cord, ribbon, whatever, I decided to go ahead and use the hearts just to make it um, the two cards really different. And it's the same glitter paper as I used for my background of the heart and the sentiment. And go ahead and adhere those. And then that completes these two cards. I really like the way they turned out. I wasn't sure where I was going when I started. I definitely wasn't planning on making two cards, but it worked out perfect. So that was Jamie's info again. Of course, I will have all the links below to the supplies I used and her shop. And don't forget to use Crazy Paper Chick for 10% off your order. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.